Hey, this is Coach Jim Huber, and I'm gonna take you through what I think are nine must-have youth ball handling drills to incorporate in your next basketball workout. The great thing about these drills is that they can be done almost anywhere, and they can be done by yourself or with others. These drills are best for kids ages eight to 13, and will help them develop fundamental ball handling skills, a feel for the ball, as well as help with coordination. And if you're wondering when to use these drills, how often and how long, then be sure to click on the link below in the description so you can gain access to free youth basketball workouts that incorporate these ball handling drills and more. Now, let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. What you're gonna do is like popping popcorn in a microwave, right? How you have the different kernels popping, popping in different locations. What they gotta do is they gotta hit a different spot. It might be high, low, but they're hitting a different spot every time when they dribble. They don't land the same spot. Still trying to keep in a good athletic stance, right? Keep your head centered in the middle, pound the ball to the ground. They're gonna do popcorn in the right hand. You ready to go, let's go, let's go. Hit a different spot every time. Eyes up, eyes up. Try to get different spots on the floor. Switch up, go left hand, left hand, left hand. Pop it hard, let's go, let's go. Quick hands, quick hands. And talk to the coaches about kids developing quick hands. Staying in a good athletic stance, eyes up. All right, stop there. So we'll do those, kind of some basic stuff to get them going with what they do. Next one I'll do is I'll go into, now we're gonna work on good athletic stance, sitting down dribbling. Now we're gonna work on, we're gonna dribble it around one leg. So I'm gonna go right hand, right leg, right hand, right leg, left hand's arm bar, ward them off. And I'll say switch and I'll go in the opposite direction. We'll keep the same hand, same leg. So we're gonna go right hand, right leg, active hand, arm bars, your left hand. You ready to go? Let's go. Right hand, right leg. Eyes up. Good, we go, there we go. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, get the basketball, come right back. That's all right. Good, good, Evan. Reverse it, same hand, same leg, same hand, same leg. Right hand, right leg, go in the opposite direction. Quick hands. Good, eyes up, eyes up, that's it. Now switch up, go left hand, left leg. Left hand, left leg. Left hand, left leg, right? Your right hand's your arm bar, warding off a defender. They're reaching in, trying to take the basketball from you. Reverse it opposite direction, same hand, same leg, right? And as you get comfortable, get your eyes up. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, it's okay. Keep head centered. All right, stop there. And then, then what I want to do with them, now we're going to work on, they're going to go up the floor and they're going to be dribbling in the right hand. They're going to go around their right leg, right hand, right leg, left hand is going to be their arm bar. Okay, ready? Right hand, right leg, left hand, your arm bar. Go ahead, give good athletic stance, walking up. Let's go. Walking up the floor. Go wider at the feet. Feet should be shoulder width apart, put your hips down and back, eyes up. Good, good. Stay with it. Now you're going left hand, left hand, left leg. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Get a good athletic stance. Get your butt down. Hips down and back, good eyes up. So as we work on this on the move, then the next thing I would do is I would tell them, now we're gonna work on going up the floor. We're gonna do what we call a crab, crab walk in doing this. So if I have a basketball, go and throw me a basketball right here, please. Thanks, seven. So going up the floor, the idea is we're gonna do a uh, movement that we do like a figure eight dribble. So we're gonna step, we're going between the legs as we go, we're going front to back going. So we're gonna stay in a good athletic stance, head up, back up. They're gonna do what we call crab walk and doing this. You ready to go, let's go. Get your eyes up, head up, back up. Good balance, sitting down, good, good. So they do that. Now coaches, another thing that I'll get into is two ball stationary ball handling. So you might mix it up. Maybe you go one ball stationary, maybe a day. Maybe another practice, you might go two balls. I wouldn't do one and two on the same day. I kind of mix it up. So again, we're working on getting kind of a feel for the basketball and what we're doing. So when you dribble two basketballs, the key that you want to work on and focus on with them is get them to be in a good athletic stance. Again, they want to be shoulder width apart. They want to have their hips down and back, sitting down, like it's still riding their back. 
when they're dribbling the basketball, they got to make sure they're going to be weaker in one of their hands, right? They got to make sure they're putting the same amount of pressure with each hand so they get light and they get off balance. Push their elbow, snap their elbow, lock it out, push the ball through the ground, all right? Make sure they're dribbling hard and tight their body, not out loose where you get my shoulders and head way over my feet and wants to be tight to my body where I got my head and shoulders above my feet. Last thing is keep that head center in the middle, stay on balance. So what I'll do is when we're doing these drills, I will tell like the person, if you're in practice, you don't have enough basketballs, that's fine. You can have them partner up. When they're partner up, what I'll tell the person that doesn't have the basketballs, they can do one of two things. If he's dribbling the basketball, say he's dribbling low, I can put numbers out. He's got to call numbers. He's got to call numbers. They got to get their eyes up and see. I might come up to him. I might slap him on his hand. I might slap him on his shoulder, right? I might make it tough for him. You might even come up to somebody and pull him a little bit, right? Where they're trying to, trying to work on getting good athletic stance and getting balance, but now you're having that person that doesn't have two basketballs. They're engaged in it. They're not getting bored, and they're doing something to make sure the ball handler is getting better, especially getting their eyes up and seeing the floor by counting numbers. So the first thing we're going to do, they're going to dribble it as low as they can. We're going to say same time, dribble, pound it. I'll say waist high, go shoulder high is what we're doing right now. You ready? Go. Let's go. Pound it, pound it. Good eyes up. A little wide at your feet, wide at your feet. Sit. Just head up back up, head up back up. Waist high, waist high, waist high. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shoulder high, shoulder high. Pound it, pound it. Stay low on the stance. Sit down. The next one we'll move into is now we're gonna go, we're gonna go front to back, push, pull. So it'll be like this in a stance. We're gonna go push, pull, push, pull. Push, pull, push, pull. Now, you can do that basic and kind of similar going like side to side, side to side. Sometimes when you're going in, out, in, out, or if I'm doing here, I'm gonna to talk to them about going out of sync. They're gonna go out of sync, we call it. That's more challenging. So maybe you get them basically getting the feel, then once they get it, now you can start talking to them, hey, now we're gonna alternate, alternate, right? Out of sync. So they're gonna go front to back, they're gonna go in sync, then we're gonna go out of sync. All right, you ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Good, got your hips down the back, eyes up. You make a mistake, that's fine, Evan. Just go get it, come right back. There you go, good, 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 good. Coach, the next drill I'll get into is called, some people call it the mirror drill, kind of call it follow the leader. So one person's gonna be leading, the other person's gonna be following, all right? So in this uh, instance, we'll have Carter He's going to lead and JP's got to follow. So if uh, Carter starts going toward JP, JP's got to go backwards. If he comes, goes back, JP's coming toward him. If he goes to the side, going to the side, coming to the side here. Now, if he alternates his dribbles, if you dribble low, he's got to dribble low. If you dribble at the same time, and uh, they, he's got to mirror what he does in doing this. So they're going to do that. You're going to lead, he's going to follow. You ready? Go. Let's go, let's go. Pound, let's go. JP, you lead. You lead, JP. Carter's got to mirror you. Let's go, let's go. You can even move quicker to make him really adjust to you. Change it up, make it harder. All right, stop there. So again, that, that's a great thing you can do if having them with two basketballs each facing each other. And now someone's got to lead. You're working them with them on leadership type skills. But then another person's got to follow and they got to get their eyes up, right? And they got to react to the other person. So it's a good little uh, fun drill you can do. As they're doing it, talk to them, maybe go quicker in their movements to make it more challenging for the person that's facing them so they're making each other better. So key to teaching a speed dribble, you want to make sure they understand again, you got to push the ball out in front of you. Don't have the ball to where you're at. Push out to where you're going. Like you're pushing out, you're sprinting to go get the basketball. You're going to dribble the ball higher than a stationary like control dribble type dribbles we worked on. It's going to be more from up your waist, about your chest high, it's going to be higher, right? And you want to make sure we're staying still on top of the ball. Don't get it to where you're carrying the basketball because too many kids will start carrying the basketball what they do. 
Now what you'll find out what kids will do is they'll pound the ball, like they'll almost like dribble up hard right in front of them, will bounce high. Again, we're trying to push the ball out, spread to the basketball, okay, is what we're looking to do in, in teaching the speed dribble. All right, coaches, as you notice, we got the kids down the baseline. They're going to be in triple threat. I want to make sure that they don't have the ball right out in front of them. They have the ball aside protecting the basketball. We're going to talk to them about having no false steps. They're not taking a side step, a back step. I want their step to go forward to, we talk about going to the rim, going to the other end, trying to attack the basket, okay? No false steps. We talk about beating people with our feet, creating separation with the dribble. So we're going to step, we're going to push them off. We're going to go right hand. Control, uh, speed dribble, push the ball in front of them, and I want to try to uh, have them get down the floor as minimal amount of dribbles as possible. They're going to come to a quick stop and making sure we're stopping without traveling what we're doing, right? Going from fast to slowing down under control. All right, get lower, get lower, get a base. You ready? Go, let's go, let's go. Push it out, come to a quick stop, quick stop, get under control, get under control. Now you're peeling out and get out. Now make sure when you come, you're going speed dribble, you gotta start chopping stuff to slow down. Come to quick stop, get on bounce. Get on bounce, hips apart, right? Good athletic stance. Going left hand, left hand. Both hands on the ball, Roost both hands on the ball. You ready? Go, let's go, let's go, left hand. Push it out, come to quick stop on balance. All right, good, and you can peel out from there. So we'll work with them on that, on going like, it might take them six dribbles. Next time I say, hey, try to get there in five. Hey, you might try to get there in four, right? Try to get them to do better each time. So we're going right here. As we go, what I, I tell them is this, Duke Speed Dribbles, Coach K at Duke. And what he teaches guys, he feels like it's quicker for them to switch hands every time when they're dribbling the basketball up the floor. It could be. But what I like about it, what he talks about too, is when you're going up the floor and say you're going up the sideline, right? And you might have the sideline to protect you. You don't have to worry about it as much as if you are in the center of the floor. If I go up the middle of the floor and I'm going up the floor and I'm speed dribbling and all of a sudden might somebody coming from behind the back tip, right? And all of a sudden now I got to woof, woof, woof that back tip and they get a play going the other end. If I sit there and I get it to where I switch every time with my hands, now the defender coming from, me, from behind can't time it. So you gotta understand kind of why you do what you do, right? Just don't do a drill, but there's a purpose and a reason for this. So now we're gonna work on what we call Duke Speed Dribble. They're gonna be in a good, a good triple threat athletic stance, no false steps, push forward. They're gonna switch their hands every time they're dribbling, coming to quick stop, get in a stance, get down. You ready? Go, push it out, let's go. Come to quick stop, on balance, quick stop. All right, turn, get out, get out and go, let's go. You ready, ready, go, Duke speed roll, push out. Switch hands every time, come to quick stop. Under control, under control, balance, balance. Now we're getting out, go ahead and get out, go to the other side. We hope you enjoyed these youth ball handling drills. If you wanna add these drills to your next workout, make sure to click on the link below in the description so you can gain access to free practice basketball workouts incorporating these drills. Again, if you incorporate these drills into your workout routine, you will see improvement in your ability to take care of the ball and be more confident in your abilities. And make sure you click subscribe and then click the bell button so you are the first to know when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.